Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another little vlog review. This time of the Helix episode, Oh Brave New World. This is also the Helix season two finale. And um, I'm going to like skip right to the very end of the episode. Alan is now an immortal. It seems that he was about to die, that he could never actually be better, that Jordan made him immortal. Probably with help from Immortal Baby. Now I saw some like, people on the IMDB chat room that were like, Oh, well, well she was feeling sad because her baby died. Now they go to Alan's room. If her baby had died, she would have fucking gone to see him. But she sees Alan instead, and then, you know, she closes the door to make sure nothing of what she's about to do gets to be seen by people. So yeah, she made him immortal. And I sort of agree with some people's theories that she did so to make him more pro-immortal. Because, you know, she's immortal, their child is immortal. And so, you know, she's starting to turn to the mortal side and figures that maybe Alan will be the same way, maybe we can be together again. But no, he he goes off with Hitaki to make a way for immortals to die. So yeah, immortals are dying because it, Alan must have convinced Hitaki for some reason that an all immortal should fucking die. Why the fuck are you cons so concerned about spreading immortality? You should f kill the fuckers. So it, if there is a season three, it'll be interesting to see the road they'll take with Alan. You know, just uncovering more of his mystery. <laughs> because it seems like a couple of his mysteries are all done off screen some of this season. And we finally get the answer to who Caleb really is. There were people that were saying, oh, it's Jordan's forever baby. And others saying, oh, it was Soren. I think last video I did point out that Soren did say he wanted to change his name to become a new person. Yeah, he became a new person called Caleb. And you might be saying, oh, but didn't the like, cannibals eat Soren's eye? Well, he was wearing a fake one to fool, you know, fool Julia. So yeah, I, I liked it when it was answered when I was like, oh my god, who they're finally going to say, they're finally going to say. So yeah, so yeah, yeah all, all of you out there who were guessing that Soren was Caleb, get, get, get some nerd points. I, I don't have like a brownie around here. I have nothing edible. <laughs> On my desk, I, used, I had like a protein bar for like a few weeks until I finally ate it. But sorry, I don't have anything, any food to give you. And the end scene of this episode is Jordan being in charge of a program that is very reminiscent of Michael's whole experimentation and I, I, Ilaria has done the whole sterilizing people and only accepting a few to keep the population going on with you know no <laughs> with not telling the people of course that's what they were doing with their food and I was actually no out in the front room with the t where the TV is, 
And since my dad was out, you know, for a few hours, I've had my computer out there and in between, you know, with commercials, I would work on some computer stuff. And then when the show was on, I'd watch the show. And so the Indian scene, they start off with a commercial, you know, one of those TV show commercials where it seems really real. And so with me, like half focusing on TV, I, <laughs> I, missed, I missed it for the first time. I'm like, wait a minute, that wasn't a real commercial, so I have to rewind. You know, I was watching it on demand, and you know, that Siffy doesn't allow you to fast forward on demand, but it will allow you to go back. And so... I know at the end of season one, why was Julia working with Illyria? I don't know if that was really well answered this season, except for, you know, her accepting her immortality. And, you know, she also was trying to go against the board, which it turns out that she was playing into the palm of their hands. So... I, if there is a season three, I'll I'll really want to know why is Jordan. Uh, I saw on IMDb chat boards that maybe she's trying to look for a way for a baby to grow, you know, permanent solution. And I can since she is so concerned about her child, I could definitely see her breaking a few morals. Plus, she did sort of seem to be going for the idea that Julia was going about, you should, you know, sterilization is a good thing. So I could see her going for that. It might be a combination of the two. It might be one or the other. With the season three, we could, we could find out. So, My final thoughts on the Helix episode, Oh Brave New World, the title. Bra oh Brave New World, Brave New World is also a sci-fi classic by Aldous Huxley, which is actually taken from a phrase from a Shakespeare play. <laughs> and I, I'm like drawing a blank. There's a storm, there's a wizard, there's this thing called Caliban. <laughs> it's like, I, I fucking don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. I like that. But uh, it was a good season finale. It answered questions. And it left you with a nice little cliffhanger. And, you know, things to be followed up for next season. I'm not going to be doing a season to review of Helix just because I did miss the first episode. And I think with doing season reviews, written reviews, I need to see every single episode. Because if I don't, I just don't feel like I can do the season review. So I'm sorry those who really like my season reviews of shows, I'm sorry I can't. I can't really comfortably do that because when I went on demand the first time to catch up with the series, it seems like it's episode two. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry, really sorry about that. But hey, if in this video I talked about some things uh, you want to leave a comment or question about, you know say so down below since you know this is a short little vlog where i don't cover everything i think about an episode comment below with questions about something i didn't mention please i really like these reviews to be helping you out and i have been jashikins owner at jashikins.blogspot.com if you go to my blog, I, I release the latest episode of The Dawning. I should be getting like a post or two about the year flown. No, expanding on that so I can finally start up my uh, roleplay Tumblr for the character Birch. So, 
And if you go on my blog, on the sidebar thing are links to where else I'm on the web. And you can, you know, click on one and go there and say hi to me. Uh, I, my Ryan shop is now has some op payment options. And um, there's going to be another multi dragon giveaway probably in a week or so. You know, just watch out for the post that says, hey, there's going to be another giveaway in around a week. So, you know, you can get all hyped about what dragons you want that you'll see. And also, you know, give me suggestions on that post when it comes on now on this video, of course. And if you're watching this on the YouTubes, there's a link in the description to donate your account. And if you donate your Twitter and or Facebook accounts to my campaign, thank you very much. You are helping to spread my lovely word. <laughs> and if you're wondering what donate your account is, it will allow me to post via your Facebook and our Twitter accounts once a day, once a week, or once a month. And I'll only be using it for blog stuff and never, you know, not save for work content on there. So, until next video, goodbye.